recess of the court to order on September the 12th, uh, 2017 at 5 o'clock. I want to ask uh, our county clerk, Beth Trapp, to come forward and lead us in a pledge and a flag and a prayer. Lord, we just thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for the uh, grace that you give to our family and our friends in Florida. Lord, we just ask you tonight to uh, be with the, each magistrate and the judge to uh, look toward you to guide them and to remember we are one county and that uh, we all bind together to take this county forward. And Lord, we just love you and we just give you all the praise and glory for all that you do for us. And Lord, forgive us when we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Y'all have seen the... Y'all seen the minutes of the last fiscal court meeting? Uh, on August 22nd, uh, do I have a motion to approve? Second. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second for Joe Barnes. Is there any corrections, additions, or discussion? <coughs> if not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed the like sign. Motion carries. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, do I have a motion to uh, to approve? So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Cam. Discussion. No discussion. Roll call. Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Uh, I've seen the uh, uh, treasurer's report uh, for August of 2017. Uh, we need to uh, acknowledge that uh, she did give it to us. I'll make a motion. Motion to Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion or questions for Ann? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, I make a motion that we uh, uh, approve the uh, documents to close on the senior center at Horse Branch uh, and authorize an end to make the payment for the purchase as well as incidental costs. Uh, Justin's doing the uh, paperwork and they say. <coughs> also for you to execute the deed. And for, for the judge to execute the deed. Judge, I got a question on that. Wait a second. Sam? 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 Yes, now, John. How many acres do you have? Eight. Isn't that right, Justin? Eight? If I remember right, I think it's around eight. Is there any issues on the land or anything that we're going to have to address? Can we, what I'm asking, can we, you're wanting the senior center, and can we sell the rest of it all? Uh, I see no reason to cut and be looking real close to what's needed or, or what other purposes, but we can certainly purpose it for something like that. Is there any more dwellings on the property? Yes. There's a house. Is this the house? What kind of shape is it? Uh, Brenda and I don't agree on that. Uh, I feel like with very little work that we could make it a rental house. Uh, Sister Louisa lived there until she left the county. Uh, and uh, it's just got things that's incidental to sitting there and uh, for a few years. Uh, could, could we sell it though? And get the money back? You know what we could? Sister Louisa lived in Costa Rica, Costa Rica in a little hut. Maybe we could bid it and just see what happens. And see well, really, well, what I was wondering is, is, you know, my issue was this, I didn't really want to add another thing to the county government, but if you know, you why don't you your money back out of it. Why don't you come up and go with me, go up there, whenever you provide me a few hours? If it's on Tuesday or Wednesday, middle of the day, we can't run it. Dollar and a half. I've done that before. Well, can we, <laughs> can we make oh, yeah. it the motion that we're going to you know, sell off the remaining land? Not necessarily sell off, but get bids to sell off. 
to get bids. Oh, I think maybe bid and see. We can get bids and look because at it. Yeah. I know the land, I'm a little bit familiar with those things too. <laughs> at least the, the well's pretty much, because that could be just a, the house. Uh, that's a liability. <coughs> The land itself, it's, it's not prime uh, farmland, anything. it's pretty much hillside. I didn't know if there was any timber or anything. No. I agree with uh, Brendan on the house. I believe it would cost more to build a fence than to build a house. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. 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 Yeah
heavy problems with their power. If you remember last year when I presented the information, I told you that the Lane report said uh, did a thing on economic impact for the state of Kentucky, and they actually said that tourism is number two, second only to automotive in the state of Kentucky, then tourism, then we have our agriculture, and then we have coal. So the hangman's there because when I do this as a presentation, I usually get to hang the crowd because they don't even consider tourism a business. It is a business, it does have economic impact, and it does bring in money. These are the uh, statistics that I gave you last year for 2015 on the left, and you can see how they have increased for 2016. This is done by the Kentucky Tourism Cabinet. The um, ones to highlight are the total tourist spending is up almost a million, or over a million dollars, a million and a half for um, total spending. The worker income went up about 300,000. Created local tax revenue went up about 20,000. The um, created state tax revenue went up about 150,000. And last year, we supported in tourism 155 jobs in Ohio County. This year, the state accredited 308 jobs are, are in the line of tourism. It generated daily uh, around $7,900 in paychecks that go out that all relate to tourism. So the next page, and you have this page, is the stats that are specific for our households in Ohio County. Of the 8,573 households, last year it met a difference to each household of $139 you have to fill in the blanks on this one, guys, because I want you to remember it. <laughs> it. Last year it was 139, and this year it went up to 158. So it's helping us with our state and local tax. So some of the things that have happened this year in tourism, um, County Line Live TV show that broadcasts all around Europe came up and they did filming at the home place. He, did, he said to me he did not allow himself enough time for all that we had to offer, and he's planning a revisit back in the spring. We had a tour bus that was geared to go to Owensboro, and they insisted that they come to Rosine 2 for Ireland, so we had that tour bus come in. The Rolling Stones magazine came in, and uh, they wanted to highlight the barn. It was the Rolling Stones, France, and Italy. They came in and they highlighted the barn in a magazine. This week, or at the end of this month, there'll be a Christian film <laughs> filming up at the Bill Monroe home place. They'll be doing about three scenes. It's not being produced as the Bill Monroe home place, but it's being shot there. So at the end of the film, we will get credit and a thank you to be uh, filmed at the Bill Monroe home place, and I'm sure that's gonna generate us some more activity. And then we had a writer come in from London, England, and that just was a real exciting day because she happened to come at a day that the state homemakers were doing a visit for the uh, home place and all of Rosine. So when she got there, there was a mandolin. I had Mark Royal playing on the stage and there were refreshments. She said she was a fiddle player. So she got out her fiddle and she was only not just a fiddle player, she was a master fiddle player. She was really good. So she played on the porch with him, and then she went over and, and played with the judge at the cemetery for the tour. She had a great time. In fact, she went back over to Owensboro and did her uh, visit with the International Museum, and she came back here and spent the whole evening in Rosine. Uh, the festival at Rosine was going on, and she spent her time between the barn and Rosine. Had a great time, so I'm really waiting for her article to come back to us. So those are some of the things that are happening. Update on the museum. Remember, we had the vacant land with just a sign. Well, that is the logo that we have developed. The words will be a little bit spread out, though, so you can see it a little better. It'll be Bill's hat, and it'll say Bill Monroe Museum. And there is a picture of the museum. And one more, Miranda. Thank you. This is what it's looking like today. And today, when I came in, the front doors are on. Inside, the heating is all, it's all framed in. The heating is um, in line, waiting for its first inspection. 
Dwayne has been up there and done rough uh, electrical work. Soon ends, and the framers are there today in closing the heating boxes. So the siding will go on now that the front doors are on. So if it doesn't keep raining, we'll continue to uh, be working on that siding in the outside today. As far as the budget, went over it, got it from Ann this morning, went over it, we're right on target. We're doing really good. We are in the realms, so uh, it's looking good. And your last page, we're all going to break out in song. No, your last page. Um, people are contacting me yet and telling me that they're sending things. And this is a CD that a fellow contacted me. He uh, wrote a song, Waiting for a Bill Monroe Museum to be Built. And he contacted me, said he heard it was being built, and he had this song. And so he sent it. He sent me five CDs. He's recorded other things, and he said, have at it with what you want to do with it. So it will definitely be in the museum. So we're getting the interest, and it's moving along. It may go. It <laughs> will have rights. <laughs> so are there any questions? But that's, I just wanted to bring you up to date what's going on. We've got a lot going on. That lady from London that was over, and uh, I got the pleasure of singing with at the cemetery, she went on to the park that night and fiddled with that thing, and then they asked her to do a, uh, uh, you know, to do a number, what she want to play. Mm -hmm. All, and so she whispered to them, they said, all the way from England, we got this song, said, you get ready for it. It's a rabbit in love, and I ain't got no dollars. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, really yes. Good. Why is the opening? What I mean? Okay, the where it's blank, that's going to be batten board, and it's a contrasting color. Okay. It's a little bit lighter, and it's going to go up there too. And then the sign, I'm looking for someone to do it like in black iron, broad iron, black iron, and so that will be batten board up there in the center too, in a lighter color. Okay, I was just curious because uh -huh. you're deciding it'll go in yeah. pieces. Yeah. Of... Yeah. We thought it would help <coughs> the sign show up better and be. Uh, okay. <coughs> Give it a little more height too. Yeah, and everything on the front is vertical inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a company in Ohio County that will do that sign for you. Okay. Great. They did it down by Kenley. Yeah. 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 Ye
uh, produce an amount of revenue approximately equal to that produced in the preceding year from real property. Uh, but that in real numbers, it's supposed to be, a, I don't know, I don't have those figures in front of me. Uh, you were either about 20,000, I was, that's what was in my head, it's about $20,000 more uh, than the previous year. But those projections always prove to be somewhat unrealistic in terms of what they really are. We, you just never know. Uh, but th those are projections that we get from the Kentucky Department of Library and Archives. And, uh, and relative, uh, I do recognize that the rate is higher than the counties, but of course, this particular source of revenues for us is about 94% of our revenues. And I think for the county, it's about but it's 5%. Very, very much on the legal way, what the voters, the county voted for by referendum is well within those guidelines. As a matter of fact, it's lower. It is, it is lower than the yes, compensating rate that was recommended by the KDLA. See, on the real property as personal every year since 2011, it has raised. Uh, that's correct. The compensating rate. Right, the, the, it's what's called the compensating rate, yes, that is correct. Okay, all we need is a motion to make the most. I'll make the most. Well, the most the right. Second, it's the black hand. Uh, people for discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. And I am proud, for the record, I'm very proud of the library. Uh, we have a, a first uh, rate library, better than any other community around us that I've been around. And uh, I appreciate the work that's done there of the new center that you put in and all that. Anything like that would get to improve the lives of, of the of the uh, yeah. county, I'm for it, so I commend you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is the Board of Education, anybody from the Board of Education here to make their presentation? No, but we have it in hand. And that's all we have to do there is to show that we got it. Can we see the rate? It's way too complicated to, for me to figure out. It's not a, it's not a, a rate, it's an annual financial statement. It's not tax rate. I mean, any questions, Jason should be able to answer them. No. <laughs> Let me see. I mean, all we have to do is knowledge anyway. We need yeah, to say anyway. Right. And it's not a very good report, to be honest with you about it. We should call them up here to make, us, make them give to us back. We invited them last year and they never came. Not yet. Move the motion for acknowledge the receipt of. Motion for Sam Smile. Second. Second by Larry Cam. Any, any discussion? Being that, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion. I'd really like to know what the Okay, let's ask the uh, school board to come and explain it all because we've accepted that they give us the report. Is that they have a different rate? All these they have all these entities that have different rates on it. I mean, we would have to look at the county probably. I mean, you see all these different companies like AT and I'm sure they get something from. That's a whole list of county county or businesses they get different rates from. Yeah, we could have Ann to explain to us next week. No, but we don't. We can't. Uh, we can't change it anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's we're just acknowledging. So, right. 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 In fact, it, the, li the library generates more tax than the county does. Right. Hey, I would like to go in. Yeah, they do. We'd like to go into a short closed session. I do mean short. We only had set that, and we're going to ask Bess Ralph and uh, Renetta to join us. Move your second. All favor, let's go back around. Justin, would you please tell me? I'll second. 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 I'll Okay, we're back into open session, and for the record, I'll tell you that we, uh, 
Johnny, you have a name for your company? Miller Construction. Miller Construction. Okay, gotcha. Okay, give me those two. We didn't discuss anything in the closed session except personnel and only two issues there, and, and they're fixing to come to light. Uh, maintenance at the courthouse, custodian maintenance, uh, part time at the rate of $10 per hour. Put the name Drew Hazelwood. Uh, effective date 9 17 17. Just need roll call. Kim? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. The next one, again, animal control officer. <coughs> At the rate of 1383 an hour. Uh, and this is a trans. This is a. Uh, this is not a new hire. This is putting him in, changing his job description. Uh, status change is the word I'm looking for. This is status change. We move Matthew, Matthew Daniels to the animal control office. Animal control officer at 1383 an hour. Uh, effective 9-17-17. Roll call. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Now, committee reports. Uh, Larry, do you think you have anything to report from the Road Department Committee today? Or the, uh, ad, I know you've had two, uh, two today, Admin Code and, uh, and uh, Road Committee. Yeah, I just wanted to inform the court that we did have an administrative code meeting. Uh, everybody was there. We discussed a couple of uh, topics. Uh, if you can, Renata, may allow the now let those two changes to all of the fellow magistrates and uh, the judges. He was there part time, so uh, and then in two weeks we'll 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 vote on the fair place and somewhat agreement. Okay. Uh, second thing on the road committee was that uh, uh, we discussed, of course, the bill. And that's on the late list. I was going to get to it later, but somebody else may have some discussion about what transpired at the road department. This would be appropriate time to make that. Note. Okay, we didn't we didn't have a late list this time, but I want to get in a bill uh, for Miller Construction. Uh, the work that's been done on Brunel Lane and the cost was ten thousand seven hundred and ten dollars. Do I have a second? A second. You can get it everywhere, so thank you very much. And for uh, for uh, and to write the check. Out. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. <coughs> any other committee reports? Do you have anything from OC that's saying? I do not. Okay. Any other committee reports? Being none, we'll go to the magistrates. Uh, Sam? I really don't have anything except tell everybody to be safe from the ranges here because. As I always say, if the good will and creeks don't rise, the creeks are going to rise, so just hold on. Jason? I, the only thing I said, and I told you back there, was I would like to see that maybe when we do our agendas and our meetings, that from now on, we put um, a closed session at the end of the meeting. And the reason why, this was a quick one, we got out this fine, but there are some people that sit here and we have really long closed sessions and they're just needing to speak about a rope or something like that. That way they can go ahead and, and do what they need to do. And if they want to leave or want to stay, that's fine. But they don't have to wait for us to go back and close the session. Put just before the... Uh, I, I would think that would work out. And that way if they've got just a, a road issue or they're waiting on something, they can get their stuff done. I always put it there from now on, but if you guys are discussing business, if you think the motion will come out, there's going to be something going on. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. But that, I just like the... I just know there's sometimes there are people here, we, we go along, but this was, this was pretty quick, but they might just have a question about the road, and they, they're waiting for us to come back there, and they have to wait a long time, and I just feel like maybe that would get them, and it's more considered for us to think. I think that's a good point. Joe? No, I have nothing. Larry? Oh, I just wanted to make mention that uh, 
Guys, we got a memo here from Ann that the uh, DNS building's been paid off. It was money we borrowed eight years ago at three hundred thousand dollars, and we made our final payment on it. But uh, we've got a nice building, nice DNS, and and uh, I thank the consideration of the court eight years ago to foresee that uh, that building. So, and uh, I, I appreciate that, Larry. And I would also uh, invite any of you who has a scene to go out there. It is something we can really be a proud of. Our ambulance service as a whole, we can be a proud of. Uh, the building is really nice, always clean. The equipment's always clean, in good shape. And the, and the training there is up to date uh, with equal to anybody in the state. David, since y'all need some building, did we ever hear anything back here? Did we rerun that ad for the uh, road department? I And we'll need to call some people. You'll need to call Lambert and get them to be a dirty one done the park building. Just one other thing. Anybody else can think of. I wanted to inquire about the feasibility study for the jail. They're Everybody. making the report our next meeting. Okay. Yeah, so they'll be here. Sounds good. Larry? Uh, I was wondering, update on the 911. Is, uh, how's that coming along? Pretty good? Or? Um, Charlie's not here to tell us how that work is coming. As far as I know, it's on track. But he's not here, so I can't share either, so I'm just not really sure. I know he's been working in the fourth district up in uh, a certain area. But yeah. I thought he meant the radio equipment. Oh, oh, You're sorry. talking about the address? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's coming on fairly good. They're not here. They're in training this week, but I'll have them put on the report to the next meeting. Just, I don't have anything to no, think about Okay. Uh, on this tourism, I wish they would start putting like down at Peabody, we have uh, hunting and fishing and stuff, and that's part of the tourism too. Maybe we could start, maybe the court could set something to the state and maybe get some little help on this. Because that, a lot of people come in here during hunting, especially Joe's district and part of mine. Yeah, they do. And also I want to invite everybody to uh, Rosine this weekend. They're having their festival. It starts Friday night at 7 and Saturday at 8. And it's uh, family orientated, and there's something for everybody. So I got. Yeah, Larry. On that note, I'd like to invite everybody to Fourth of Days. That would be this weekend as well. So, yeah. come out and join the fun festivities. Uh, yeah, you can, I'm the meet and greet man. So, <laughs> yeah, which one's the, which one's got the best show? Whether it's come on, guys. Well, they're going to have a female, <laughs> you know, a male wedding. Larry, is you're going to be in the Duncan booth? Is that no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the, uh, yeah, the auction y'all. Couldn't be so lucky. We'll go rolls. <laughs> what they do have is a yeah, piece place. <laughs> okay, and we, as we're moving on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Woman of the Sweaty. Woman of the Sweaty. That's the name I was using. So. Yeah. But, uh, we're going to be well endowed at this time. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take two so the record to y'all here. Four thirty the next meeting we're having a uh, meeting, uh, a, a committee meeting at four thirty. Uh, well, it's a uh, it's a uh, co severance meeting we'll call it. it had direct uh, line item <coughs> co severance line item committee. House Bill three hundred six. Three hundred three. So I just that's just an announcement. And uh, does anybody from the general club that have anything for the good of the body? Hearing none, this meeting is adjourned, and we made it to 45 minutes, gentlemen. <laughs>